gonna be 70 degrees today. We don't need that heater on. I'm gonna have to go turn the Waldo's and Lily's out. Off. Not out. Off. Yeah, you're busy. We're not using this clip. Or maybe I will. Look at you lazies. Look at you lazies. You're still uh, tearing up the cardboard, huh, boy? You're gonna trip over that. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn the heat off. I gotta go. I gotta go shopping. Okay. Let's get your heater off. The sun's out, so you don't need it. It's warm enough in here. It'll stay warm till it's really warm. Yes. Welcome to the channel guys. I am getting ready to leave. I'm gonna go buy a carport. So I'm gonna head to Russellville There's a big place there. I'm gonna check out and hopefully get a carport order We get the same color as the roof hunter green And we'll see how that goes All right, what I'm gonna do in here if I can get to it today. I am uh, I'm gonna take this stuff up. I'm gonna vacuum this floor really good and clean it I'm getting rid of this cardboard and then I'm going to take one of them rugs I have inside and put them a big rug in here. Uh, be easier on them to walk and we don't have to deal with this. And you would like it, wouldn't you? But I'll have to vacuum it often because you're smelly. The mountain's smelly. And don't you dare try to drag it outside like you do with every new thing that comes in here. Alright. Daddy's got to go. We got your radio on your favorite country music station. And I'll be back in a couple hours. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna let it defrost a second, but I'll show you guys something. I've had a couple months. This is not a review. I'm gonna do a short review on this here in uh, in a few days. This is the S Joy Bring. Uh, it's like a car DVR. Pretty cool. I only use it. I don't only use it when I go somewhere that I'm not sure. There's the front camera. It also has a rear camera. I don't have that hooked up. Don't plan to. Stuff and I'll show you. I'm going to type in the directions. You can talk to your phone on this. It's got Spotify. Pretty cool. I'll do a full review on it. Right now we're just putting it on the Android Auto so it connects to my phone. It'll take a second here. I use this uh, going to Mama V's and places I'm not familiar with going. But what's cool, and I found this out the, on accident. Turn this radio off. Give it a second to boot up. All right. What I did is I looked up uh, this place I'm going, and I typed in the address in Google Maps. So now when I come in here, all I should have to do is start typing the first few digits if it ain't already in there. Okay, I'm not going to show. Okay. Four. Whoop. Let's go back. Four, one. There it is. That's where we're going. And then right there, we'll hit go. We're all set. I won't get lost. All right. We're ready to take off. Uh... I'm going to try to find a carport. I don't know if you can see that it'll fit in between them two tree stumps. Uh, it'll be the same way. It'll, it'll be facing that rooster's yard there, the fence. The back of it will be there. And I'll pull in off the driveway. So I'm going to have to bring in some gravel. Level that out a little bit. All right, let's roll. i got to dump some trash. And uh, then we'll head out. All right, I'm about... 15 20 miles down the road I'm not looking for anything real fancy uh, I haven't even really a hundred percent decided where I want it but I'm pretty pretty much sure I'm gonna put it where I pointed out to you guys uh, the only my only concern there is I kind of want one with sidewalls and an end uh, they cost a little more but and I may not even go that route. I may just go there. There are some where they come down a little bit And I think that would probably be better because the wind comes from west to east I don't know if that'd be such a good place with with the ends and the sides on it So I'm probably I'll just see what they got and uh, Like I said, I'm not gonna go too fancy. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on this 
But some of the reasons, it ain't just for the vehicle, vehicles, I'm going to get the other one back. Uh, I can work under that. I can set up my table saws. Uh, I've got a lot of those projects coming up. I can set up work benches out there, or uh, saw horses. I can cut my lumber, set up my saws. And in the summer, it's a great place for the dogs to get. Millie and Tilly, they'll have a nice place to uh, lay in, out of the sun. Uh, so they're, I mean, and hey, have a party or something. Got another a big area to sit and stay out of the sun. So there's, there's a lot of advantages to having a carport. And yes, I own older vehicles. Well, this one's 2012. You know, and it's it doesn't even have a hundred thousand miles on it yet. So I don't I don't want to be replacing windshields. Uh, we get a lot of hail here. Uh, so it's good to have them under cover. That hasn't happened to me yet, but doesn't mean it won't. So we're just heading down the road now. The sun is in my eye peepers. And these dump trucks are just relentless, man. They come down this road. They come down my road all day long. I don't know where they're working. But all you can smell anymore is asphalt. And I do not care for that smell. Here's where we're at on this gizmo. I really like this thing, man. And uh, you can record your driving. You know, if you ever get in an accident or whatever, you can have evidence of that. I don't particularly use that, but you could if you wanted to. That's the main function I like of it right there, is the GPS. And it goes through your phone, so it's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to get off here. This is somewhat of a boring drive, but you do got pretty much anywhere you go in Arkansas, you got a lot of scenery. Uh, it's pretty nice. You can see the mountains, you know, in the distance and in the near distance. A lot of cattle ranches. There's one big one there. Not a lot of agriculture here. Uh, I believe a little south of us they grow cotton. But the soil where we're at here is just not suited for decent crops. It's even hard to garden here. Alright, we'll come back when I get there, guys. Uh, I believe it's the same place uh, Mike and David went where he got his. Duval's. I think that's the same place they went. And I seen that video and I said, man, they got a pretty big selection. So I think I'm going to go there. So that's where I'm going. If it's the same place, but I think it is. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, well, what in the heck is this thing? I'm looking for carports, guys, but this caught my eye. I guess it's something you can have your kid wait for the school bus, an outhouse, who knows. That one's way too big. You guys probably recognize some of these. But actually guys, I've already bought it. But you're gonna have to wait and see. And it could be a month before it comes. But uh, I've got to take a picture of where it's going, send them the picture. It will be the same colors as my cabin. Like this one. I'm not even going to look at a building. Nope. But uh, we're going to have a carport here pretty soon. That's a pretty nice building there. Pretty good size lot here. This is, uh, let me see if I can find the sign. We are in Russellville. Ah, involves portable buildings.
Uh, I will show you a little sneak peek. It's going to be like this one. Same color roof, but it's going to have black trim with the sides like this and the gables. 24 by 20. I'm not a big uh, bean keeper, but it's not going to have that building. It's going to be 24 long by 20 wide. So there, there'll be room to get both trucks in there if I need to. But uh, the dogs are going to love it. So basically this is what I'm getting with the vertical roof like that. With the sides halfway down. I like that because I can be able to look out and see through all the way to the end of my property. And it lets the wind pass through. So like I said I didn't get this one. But similar without the building on it. All right, I'm going to head on out of here. i got to stop at Walmart because I shorted Rooster on food. Well, this Walmart in Russellville, you can see it right there. Oh, my God, those people are miserable that work here. I know it ain't the greatest job, but, boy, you talk about some sourpusses. Man, rude. It's a dirty store. The cat and dog food's all the way in the corner by Lawn and Garden by the pharmacy. Not like any other Walmarts I've been in. But yeah, uh, if I didn't have to get Rooster's Dinners, and they're the only ones that sell it, I wouldn't have went. All right, headed back home. So when I get home, I've got to get my measuring wheel out and make sure that this thing is going to fit in between them two tree stumps with room on each side. It should. But I'm going to have to pull the flagpole up and move it somewhere else. Uh, that ain't no big deal. All that is is a T-post and I, sli I slid the uh, flagpole right over it. Hey, it's worked this long, you know, almost two years. So, let me roll this window up. Oh, I'm roasting here, guys. When I got in the truck from Walmart, I should have peeled this uh, hoodie off and I didn't. So I'm going to have to put some air conditioning on. What is it? 50 degrees, I swear it feels 80. <laughs> So, but the, it's got to be in a spot that has level ground, and that's about the most level spot I got. I am going to pick up a couple of scoops at a time of gravel uh, from the hardware store. Uh, actually, it's cheaper that way for what I'm going to need. Because, man, these, these dump trucks charge a fortune to bring you a load out. So I'll do that. I'm, he, they said anywhere from four to six weeks. But he thinks, depending on the area I'm in, that it should be a lot quicker than that. So, I mean, it don't really matter. And it didn't didn't hit the wallet as hard as I thought it would. It wasn't bad. So, and I got a little more than I uh, planned on getting. So, it should be a nice little, should look good. It's going to be the same color as the house, the, well, the house trim and the house roof. So, it's not... It's not going to clash. You know what I mean? It's not going to clash. All right. Trucking on down the road. There's a pond. Look at this bridge. That pond must be up. <laughs> Get you guys adjusted. The end of that bridge was submerged in water. All right. I ain't going to do too much of this traveling traveling stuff video everybody does it it's overrated do it a little bit all right what am i going to do when i get home it's a beautiful day Ooh, i gotta turn this ac on man i do there we go the ac is on uh i need to get in there and mud that sheetrock in the new building but now I've got two big stacks of lumber smack in the middle of it. So I'll have to see if I can work around that. I don't really feel like messing with that today. It's going to be like 70 towards the end of this week. 72, I think, Friday. Then there's a small chance of rain. It's the rainy season. All right. Enough of this nonsense. Sweet home Alabama! Oh, I turned the camera on. I see how she does. And she just runs away. What about you?
you run to the camera so you can tell stories come home today he said there was a gang of peacocks that came by to try to start trouble i don't believe you no such thing as a gang of peacocks and they don't believe you either they don't believe you either boy where's your sister oh she's out there right in the middle where she can soak up all the warm sun yeah i'm gonna come in and get you guys some fresh water in a minute all right guys i got the measurements out over there where tilly is hold on this is where i want to put it ah, thank goodness i'm gonna have to probably get rid of this but i don't know i think there's plenty of room if i pull the flagpole and move it back we're going to put it in here and somewhere in here i believe it's right through here is the electrical line for my well remember when that got pulled up and i had to rebury it so i'm going to have to come out as far as i can this way so they don't drive the anchors through it i do know I do know that it was on this side coming on this side of this tree because I was getting erosion and it was pushing it up but now it shouldn't come up I buried it pretty deep you know where it is rooster if I have to I'll get a metal detector or something see if I can find it but I know it isn't behind that and it's uh it's probably about where that mark is in fact that's actually a tire mark but I think that's pretty close to where it is and it's straight out that way so this is where the carport will be right in here and i've got to get some loads of gravel probably three truck loads in my truck that should be good but it'll be big enough to fit both trucks and uh i think i said four to six weeks before but he said six to eight weeks but probably won't take that long so whatever it is it is that's what she's gonna look like like right there got the sides come halfway down the gables on each end and it's tall enough for both trucks can well the Ford can get under it so and I came out here yesterday tilled some of these up a little bit try to work some of that old bark in there with the soil and started dumping the dirt out of these things put in here somebody asked where I got these uh, Amazon sells them uh, you just put in galvanized uh, raised beds you should find them I think they got them in different sizes so now what do I do with these stupid bricks blocks oh god I, I know there's at least six videos where I move these things silly yeah as you can see <laughs> the buildings full of lumber these are actual two by fours and they are green so I need to get them stickered and let them dry out a little bit. Uh, not sure if I'm using them for the closet build or not. Not if they're that green, but uh, we'll see. I'm probably just going to get some regular 2x4s from the lumber store to frame it out. and Those I'll be able to use building the shelves or whatever I'm going to do in there. Cedar's the same way, but I'll, I'll put this up green. I just You don't gap them. You just square them up you put them right next to each other and they should be about perfect all right and i went around yesterday with the magnet <laughs> that's actually from the fire pit with all this metal in here in this area where the junk pile was i just keep going over it and there's still you know i'm sure there's still some screws and nails but for the most part we got it all cleaned up I didn't find two. Well, I found probably ten screws in here, some nails. Uh, there's two pieces of barbed wire that were laying in here, so I'm glad I found them. So I'm just a little bit at a time. There's the old burn pile. All that's burned down. So you can see I didn't burn a lot of stuff with nails in here, but there's there's steel in there. There's a screw. Yeah. 
There at the end, I kind of did throw some things in with screws, but these magnets are handy for this. Oh, the other one's just filled with them. They're handy. You don't want to step on that. I'm, I'm not ever going to walk in there, but the dogs might. So I'm going to make sure I get them all up. So I'll get a rake and rake through there. It's a process. Well, there's Miss Tilly. You know what your sister did last night? I went over to Jeff's for a few minutes to pick something up. She was about 50 feet from Jeff's house. Yeah. She knew I busted her. I opened the window and I said, you get home. Five minutes later, she showed up. That's Miss Telly for you. See, you don't want to step on those. You just don't. All right, guys, I don't know how long of a video this will be, if it's long at all, but uh, that's what I did today. So, yeah, we got a carport coming. That's going to be nice. Dogs will love it. I can feed them under there in the rain. They can lay under there in the summer. Keep them nice and shady, and uh, I'll still be able to look at my camera and, and look through. I should be able to look through it. Uh, man, I mean, where else do you put it? It's not going to require a lot of leveling. I mean, this whole land is wavy and hilly, and that is the most level spot. There, There is a spot in front that's more level, but... If I put that big old carport right in front of my house, that just takes away from the house and, you know, that would look terrible. I've never seen that done, so I can't put it there. So I'll get that leveled out. It won't take much. The only thing I worry about is where that electrical line is, but if I have to, I'll dig it up and just so I know where it is. Why am I putting it in a bowl when I can put it right in that trash can? Why do I do the things I do? And if you remember this, yes, it's still stuck on there. It goes to my set. Oh, it's beautiful out today. Happy trails. You're silly. Oh, there's Waddles, parked by the bowls. Are you like guarding the water bowls now, Waddles? is.